So if you listen and you don't understand, don't get frustrated. If you listen and read and listen and read and still don't understand, don't get frustrated. That's normal. And um, at least in my own case, I prefer to be listening and doing something else, cleaning up the garage, whatever it might be, listening, fading out, focusing in again, that works better for me than trying to sit down and say, okay, for the next half hour, I'm going to listen to this. All right. The exception to that, of course, is if you're watching a movie, which is a form of listening, but you're watching and listening at the same time. And it's rewarding because it's fun to watch a movie and you can see the people, you can almost feel as if you're participating with this family. That's why series, you know, on Netflix are so great. If it's, if it's the same group of people interacting all the time in the series and you watch them and you feel you're a part of them and you're getting that sense of being in that cultural, you know, uh, sphere, um, all of that is good. But I wouldn't, you know, I, I consider the, the sort of video, movies, TV series, that's more of a reward. That's fun. You have to develop the ability to be able to listen without seeing what's going on. Uh, initially sort of repetitious material like the many stories, eventually audiobooks where just hearing the words conjures up meaning for you so that you're automatically converting, you know, words in the target language into meaning. And so as you build up to that level of, of listening comprehension, you are preparing yourself to become fluent in the language. So that's my advice. Treat listening, and listening comprehension, not only as a primary goal in language learning, but as an important way of helping your brain become accustomed to the language. So I hope that was um, helpful. Uh, thank you for listening.